The UFL hasn't even taken its first snap yet, and Houston... We have a problem. The XFL-USFL merger has completed, and I've already done a couple of videos talking about potential expansion cities. And during the course of the first video, I mentioned that the UFL is Eastern U.S. heavy. And that is a potential problem that I'm going to touch on today. I'm Beyondre, and I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers who tell you to smash that like button or hit the subscribe button or leave a comment below. I'm just not that guy. Fox at ESPN will be partnering in the broadcasting of the league, and they are facing a major glaring issue. And that is the fact that the UFL does not have any West Coast presence. The nearest team out West is in Texas, and let's face it, America, nay the world, hates Texas football, thanks to the nauseating era of the Cowboys being called America's team. How about them Cowboys? Shame on you, Jimmy Johnson, Troy Aikman, Jerry Jones, and the entire city of Dallas. How about them Cowboys? Way to go. This is why we can't have Walmart quality things. That leaves the UFL broadcast partners in a tough hole as they are already missing out on the New York market. They're missing out on some of the largest markets in the country. Let's take a quick look at the list. Los Angeles is number two, followed by San Francisco at 10, Phoenix at 11, Seattle, who they folded for 2024 at 13, Denver at 17, Sacramento at 20, and Portland, Oregon at 23. Those are out of the top 25 markets in the country based on the 2023-2024 Nielsen ratings. Of the teams of the UFL, let's take a look at where their markets rank. The Houston Roughnecks in Houston, Texas, rank 6 in the country. Washington, D.C., the home of the D.C. Defenders, ranks 9. Detroit, Michigan, home of the Michigan Panthers, ranks 14. St. Louis ranks 24, home of the Battlehawks. And this is where it starts to get outside the top 25. San Antonio, Texas, number 31 in the country. Birmingham, Alabama, number 40. The Memphis Showboats at 50, and the Arlington Renegades in Arlington, Texas, doesn't even rank on the Nielsen's. Out of the eight teams in the league, four of them are outside the top 25 media markets in the country, and the XFL champion Arlington Renegades doesn't even qualify as a media market. And I looked at the top 204 in the country. I have a feeling that the only reason they are in the league this year is because they have a title to defend, but if they don't repeat as champions, I can see them moving. This creates two distinct problems. Number one is the television revenue. Because the UFL presence is limited this year, Fox and ESPN are going to have a difficult time making enough ad revenue just to break even if they're lucky. Yes, the games will air on a national platform, but I don't think it's going to be seen by as many eyes as they would like because of reason number two. The UFL being Eastern-centric this season, potential West Coast spring football fans are going to be hard to convince to care about the new league. I was personally sorely disappointed that the 2020 version of the XFL didn't bring back the Demons, as I was a season ticket holder in 2001, and was excited about the prospect of them coming back when the relaunch was first announced. When the Demons weren't brought back, I had two choices. Not care at all about the XFL or spring football in general, or take a deep breath and throw my support behind the most deserving city. And if you're wondering who that is, let me just simply say, Ka is law. Alienating essentially one half of your potential audience in the inaugural season is going to make recovering or recruiting Western U.S. fans back to the league extremely difficult, which is why after 2024, some existing teams like Arlington will have to move, and teams like the Seattle Sea Dragons or even perhaps the relocated Portland Vipers, or can I even dream a relaunch of the San Francisco Demons? These teams, these markets, are going to have to be mission one targets for realignment and expansion in 2025, or there's going to be some serious questions about the future viability of the league. See, even the cat agrees. That's all for the end of this video. I'll be Andre. I'll see you for the next one. Can't speak for the cat, though. Get out of here.